Hi there. My name is Zaza Daniel. I'm based in uh, South East Kent. Um, although I do plan to move to Australia fairly soon. Um, I work with animals. I mainly work with dogs. I'm an animal communicator, canine flow practitioner, canine coach. I'm also a transformational and development coach. And um, I also do energy healing, which I have been doing for a very long time. Um, and I want to share with you in this short video a little bit about why I do what I do and hopefully to inspire a few people or a lot of people to just investigate a little bit further and to just check in with themselves and see how they feel about what I'm about to say. Now, I have come to know through the law of attraction and through how the universe works that as human beings we are powerful creators. We create our world. We create everything in our life. And because of that, we also create what goes on around us within our relationships. We have the power to change all of that just by the way we change our thoughts. This might seem like, oh no, that's all a little bit hocus pocus, but you know, this is all measurable. This is measurable. You can, um, you can look up in Power Versus Force by Dr. David Hawkins, who's a very well established psychiatrist who's written heaps of books. But in Power Versus Force, he has a map, which is the levels of human consciousness. And you'll see how different emotions have a different frequency and everything can be measured. Now, if you're vibrating at a certain frequency, then you're only going to be vibrating that same frequency back to you. So if your, vibra if your frequency is pretty low, you're going to be finding that you're in situations of that same frequency. The universe works by what we are is what we we receive. So if we want something, we must give it out as well. It cannot be that we just want, 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 because we have to give in order for that to happen. Now, this is the thing that some people find tricky because they go, oh, but I'm such a very nice person. How is it possible that my dog is so aggressive or something? Or how can it be that my dog is so nervous when I'm so confident? But who who says you're so confident? Who says that you're so... Who? who? We, I can't get behind the eyes of someone else. I cannot see what's going on inside them. But we we can't lie to ourselves. We know exactly when our heart feels like it's out of place it's not completely balanced in its in its cage it's its heart cage a ribs cage you know we know when it goes oh my gosh and it sort of like floats up to our neck or something when we sort of like are a bit worried or a bit concerned about something you know there's lots of people out there that we call nice people and all these awful things happen to them but what's going on is that inside they're focusing their thoughts on things they don't want or going, oh, that's so sad, that's really sad, that's such a shame that this happened or whatever. Shame, of course, is actually the worst, the lowest on the scale of the emotions. So what I want to talk about is frequency, energy, vibration and how we can apply it with our dogs. Now, once you know how whatever we think about is how is what we attract to us, then we have the ability to start to change, make big changes. Now, the big changes happen when we start to learn to go within, to meditate and to clear out all of the junk. We have to clear out our junk. Dogs, the reason I love to work with dogs is because they're so honest. Dogs have the biggest heart per body mass than any animal. 
they are so so in tune with us that if we're out of whack if our emotions are playing havoc with us a dog will net will have probably some sort of like issue going on and will be trying to ground that energy on behalf of us so often when people go oh but my dog is crazy my dog is this and that and the other it's like hang on your dog's not crazy your dog's just trying to express energy on behalf of you now there are other aspects that you must look at obviously you know you have to give appropriate behaviors um i mean appropriate um appropriate you know recreational things for dogs to do that go with being a dog like dogs need to sniff dogs need to run around dogs need to chase dogs need to chew there are certain things dogs have to do in order to keep them in balance and certain dogs are going to need more of a certain type of thing like sight hounds they need to run they need to chase things that's what they do that's what makes them get in balance it's like if you're an athlete and you were to say right Mr. Athlete, you go sit on that chair and don't you move. Then Mr. Athlete's going to get upset because Mr. Athlete is used to running or doing whatever it is to keep athletic. You know, everybody, everything, every living thing has certain things that make them happy and bring them joy. So you must give them appropriate ways to express their energy naturally and to ground their energy by being on the ground on the on the earth on the soil grounding grounding their energy not walking on tarmac and stuff like this that's an important thing diet is also very important because if a diet isn't right um, or if you're giving a, a, a one of those sort of kibble kind of diets then a dog isn't going to necessarily be at its peak. Some people go, oh, but my dog doesn't like that kind of thing. But then you probably, you probably thought in your mind, oh, I don't know if my dog will like this. Or you probably had some sort of judgment about it, some sort of emotion that you expressed when you offered that food that your dog decided to choose not to eat the raw food this has happened I've had lots of people say this to me and then I look at them and I think but you're clearly not eating this the, the kind of diet which would be the most beneficial diet for your own optimal health and for your own longevity I mean there's a lot of people out there they're so trapped in in this idea that if it's in the supermarket it must be all right to eat it but that's not the case. There's certain foods in the supermarket you should avoid, walk away from. They're things to keep you down, keep to take away your energy, keep you, keep you sort of, keep you small. So I love this practice because it empowers the person. It empowers the dog. It's kind. There's no force involved. And transformations happen and they last and people just are like so happy because the thing is is that they've changed they have ended up changing and then they look back and they go oh my gosh because they're happier and their life is better and their dog's happier and the dog's life is better and that's just such a beautiful thing it's definitely worth sharing definitely worth talking about definitely worth giving it the the high fives um Yes, it can be a bit embarrassing putting out videos and thinking, oh gosh, you know, how's people going to take it? But it would be worse not to share or to say how we feel about something that we know works and that is really, really powerful and really, really cool. So this is my first video. The next one I plan to do, I hope, will be much better. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. And... Um, May you have beautiful relationships with all living beings. Peace. Thank you. This is a message from Archangel Metatron, who's actually helping me today. Thanks.